Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And this video is going to be about European decorative art and also medieval art. Let's check it out. Metropolitan Museum of Art, or simply the Met, is the largest art museum in the United States and also the most visited museum in New York City. It has about 6 million visitors per year, well, in 2019. And um, I gotta say that its collection is really humongous. It has more than 2 million different works and artifacts right here in this amazing museum. Starting my tour from the American wing, where you can see some monumental sculptures, stained glass, and also some architectural elements. All of them located in here in this Charles Englehart court. There are some works made with bronze, silver, gold. There are examples of glass and ceramics. And um, two examples of Tiffany's glass. Actually, those are really cool and very beautiful. A great example of American art from 1920s. And here's the medieval part of this museum. I gotta say that the Metropolitan got one of the most comprehensive collections of medieval art in the world, and they covering um, art of the Mediterranean and Europe from the fall of Rome in the 4th century to the beginning of the Renaissance in early 16th century. And what's interesting about this collection is that they got all sorts of different objects in here. Well, they got uh, small figurines, they got um, some uh, plates, they got even some carpets, they got statues, they got paintings. So it's all bunch of different artifacts. And let's say if you like paintings, well, you will find it here. If you like small figurines, well, you will find it here. So I would say this collection contains art for everyone and this is really awesome And here is some carpets, um, which I mentioned before. It's a really good example of medieval art because, uh, well, basically before it was used like a carpet and uh, not like a piece of art. But uh, for us these days, it's a good re representation of those times. And as you can see, a lot of artifacts from those times basically connected to Christianity because, well, you hear a lot of things about medieval times and uh, a lot of things uh, about those monasteries and uh, churches and uh, castles and every single king or you know emperor in Europe uh, somehow were connected with church or Christian religion and that's what we see here in this art a uh, strong representation of Christianity And since Christianity had such a huge influence in uh, Europe, it became, uh, you know, one of the most important parts of European culture. That's what we see here. A lot of uh, art objects basically connected to Christian religion. And uh, I would say, uh, you know, Christianity became one of the most fundamental uh, institutions in there back in the days. And uh, that's why uh, all art, everything you see in this museum, in medieval part, is somehow connected to Christian faith. But I gotta tell you that here you can see mostly Western Christianity, not Eastern Christianity. So you don't really see here um, works from like Greece or Russia or like uh, Poland, 
here mostly like Western Christianity such as Germany, France, Italy and uh, places like that. Another interesting part in this museum is European decorative arts and it's basically located right next to medieval arts because it covers the same region, Europe. And here you can see uh, examples of nice decor, nice uh, furniture and uh, some art objects such as figurines and plates and uh, even paintings. But um, regarding paintings, I gotta tell you that um, it's a whole entire section in this museum on the second floor. It's a huge section and uh, to be honest, to see all those paintings, you have to come to this museum and you have to see it for yourself because those paintings are incredible and uh, they also represent different, uh, different centuries. That's uh, another interesting part about it because it's not only one particular age, no, it's all different ages, it's all different centuries. It's a really amazing part. Um, and um, again, to see all those uh, artworks, uh, you have to come here, you have to see it for yourself. It's really amazing part. As you can see it's a lot of different art objects in here and it's a lot to see but uh, one of my most favorite parts in here are the rooms with the decor and the furniture and I find those rooms uh, really amazing it's uh, several rooms I couldn't make a video in all of them because some of them are actually dark and um, Instead, I took a couple pictures, so I'll show you pictures of those rooms. But yeah, this is one of my most favorite uh, parts in this museum. As I told you guys, these rooms are very much impressive. They um, well, I think they are a really good example of European decorative arts. They surely represent those arts and you can see it in all this design and decor of this uh, interior um, objects. I mean, everything here has its, uh, you know, that uh, European spirit. Uh, and um, yeah, it's uh, one of my favorite places because uh, w when you're standing inside those rooms, it's like everything, whatever you see, everything uh, surrounding you is, is from that age. And uh, it's really impressive, I gotta tell you, it's very impressive. One thing I have to mention, uh, and that's for sure, that this this is like a quick tour, a very brief tour in the uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art, and uh, surely it has much more different artifacts uh, and a lot of different rooms filled with different works. So to be honest, if you want to see all this beauty, if you want to see all this amazing art, you have to come in here, you have to see it for yourself, because there is no other way around. Another important thing about uh, the Metropolitan is that some collections are private, so the Metropolitan got them for only a limited period of time. 
and here's the example of private collection this um, Fabergé Easter eggs uh, which were made uh, by Carl Gustav Fabergé in uh, um, 20th century back in uh, Russian Empire for Russian Emperor uh, or as many people call him the Tsar and um, yeah, these eggs are a good example of a private collection. And as I know, um, this particular exhibition with uh, Fabergé eggs are going to be done by the end of this year. So if you want to see these guys, you have to come here before the end of 2021. <laughs> Well guys, this is it for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope you got some uh, useful information and you already planning your visit to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to like this video. It actually helps a lot to promote it and uh, to promote my channel in general. Thank you so much and thanks for your time. I'll see you later. Have a nice one. Bye.